Thomas Plummer. I've been in the industry 37 years. Uh, we do workshops, seminars, speakers training, write books, about anything we can to help any owner, whether independent owner or maybe a mainstream gym owner, to be more efficient at what they do. ASF and budgets, you, you wouldn't think those would normally go together, but the, the business is really about building a strong receivable base. A receivable base means a lot of people that my members owe me money that can be projected into the future. And um, the old style cash-based gyms, they, you collect the money today, you spend it today, I service the guy for a month or a year or whatever. It's a horrible way to run a business. With ASF, I know I can look at the money, say if I have 2,000 members or even 200 in a training gym, I can get a pretty good idea how my money is going to project into the future. So if I continue to add this number of members, I understand my loss rates, uh, I understand my collection rates. I can sit down with my banker or uh, if I'm trying to buy a building, I can put down if I'm trying to get loans and say, look, I, I'm generating X number of dollars this month. 12 months from now, based on all this reporting, and everything I have for my third party, I'm still going to be doing this money or even more. The most powerful thing ASF brings to a, a gym on budgeting is the fact that it allows you to project your income into the future. You, you turn an unknown into a known and that turns a business from a little bit freestyle into a very stable, or as I say often, a sustainable business. Now if the variables change, then that money's gonna change, but then that's again, ASF's there showing me, okay, your sales have been declining by 4%, that means your revenue is gonna decline by 8% in the next 10 or 12 months, it's there, it's all there for me. But budgeting and the ability to project in the future is really the secret behind all of that. ASF is probably responsible in any given time for keeping 30, 40 percent of all the gyms they work with in business because they, they give the, the guy a chance. If I'm, I'm out there and I'm fighting the battle and trying to live my dream, most people that open gyms are very passionate about small business. And even the big chains, you've know, got 20, 30 gyms. Somewhere in there that guy started, that woman started because they believed in the mission. They were out to do the right thing. If I get somebody like ASF behind me, they, they're, they're not only going to be efficient for me, but in essence, they many times they've saved me. They've saved a, gym, a number of gym owners in there. Um, I, I, recently, and what they've become very skilled at is the, the training gym. But you take a new training gym, 6,000 square feet, that does a million two, million three uh, a, a year, which is a phenomenal number. That number would never be possible without a strong third party. So did that guy create the 1.3 and then ASF serviced it, or did ASF, because of the strength of what they do, allow this person to grow and thrive? And we forget the fact that if you get the right company behind you and you get the right foundation, you get the right anchor, that makes that. Why did we never see that number before in the gym? But we've never had a third party company as strong as ASF working with these training gyms. ASF is setting a, a new standard of customer service, and uh, it's, it's very unusual to see it develop. And who knew? Who knew that was going to be the differentiator over time? The, the, most of the secondary pretender posers is the term I like to use, uh, financial service companies, uh, they're what we used to call the old days creamers. They'll process all the easy payments, they'll take the, the guy that's going to pay every month anyway, and then they'll return everything and dump it back on the, the club and, or the gym and have them try to s solve the problem. ASF, through their just intense customer service, has really given the, the gym owner a cushion. You, you've got somebody to turn to in that say. If I have 300 clients, they're my clients. And as a gym, I'm very, very cautious on who's going to service that. One of our businesses is we still have a training gym with 1,400 women in it. It's uh, on Cape Cod. That, that 1,400 members, we fought 29 years to build this gym. Who am I going to trust to service those members? Because if they get it wrong, uh, I'm, I'm done. Because on a small island where we live, if, you, if the customer service is, is bad, it's going to spread quickly, and I'm going to lose my business over that. So one, do I trust ASF with the stuff? Of course, because their customer service between my clients and ASF is unbelievable. They're professional, they run down missing credit card numbers, hey you, you know, this account was closed, can we fix this? They do it so well that the members are like, wow, it was a great service experience, even though I was wrong and owed them money. The second customer service I think is even more powerful is the difference between me as a club owner and my young staff and trying to work with ASL. What sets up, makes a company from tier two to legendary, um, where I believe ASF is approaching that level, is the, the real difference is how do they handle the problems? 
every gym owner is going to have a problem. There's going to be a, a, an account that's not handled correctly. There's going to be something set up. There's going to be a misspelled name. A thousand small things that make you insane. The difference is some of the second tier companies will yell at the owner, blame the owner, you screwed this up, make the staff feel bad. Go to ASF and all they care about is, well, let's get this done. Let's fix this. That, it's just such a breath of air. We have our young managers call, there's a account problem. They get off the phone, they said, that was so professional. It's just, they don't make them feel like they're idiots or they made a mistake. And many times it is the gym that makes the mistake. And yet we feel good about calling because the problem is rectified and it's cleared up. And that, I don't know if they intended to do that, but they're becoming known for that. And ASF is really setting a new standard uh, on both those levels. How do you treat the client, but most importantly, how do you treat their client? And, and the gym owners that I deal with and talk to, they come back and say, look, this was a good experience. You know, there were problems, they fixed them. It doesn't matter whose fault it is, let's get this fixed so you're satisfied.